Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this series of videos, we are following the GitHub Labs for AZ104, Microsoft Ad Azure Administrator Exam Labs. Uh, we have already completed the first two parts of this uh, section in our previous videos. Uh, in this video, we're going to assign our back roles. Uh, and to do that, we're just going to follow the directions that are given over here. So in our last step, we have already created a role and uh, the role name and we ran this command new as your role definition and uh, we created the custom role and the name of the custom role was support request contributor. Okay, so please watch the previous video if you missed that one. Uh, for this one, to begin with, we're going to start with creating a new user. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to our Azure account. Okay. Go to home and go to the Active Directory. Uh, then users. Let me just verify if I've already created the user for any other lab. No, I have not. So let's click on the new user button. Here is my new user name. Let's copy that one. Go to our place where we are kind of saving stuff. So this is the new user that we're gonna gonna create. Uh, let's come back uh, over here. Name is Cap. Uh, let's get the password. Uh, password. Let me create the password. So I have given the password. Uh, it's saying that uh, nothing else is required. It says copy the clip for the username, which we have already done. And you do this by just uh, going to the Azure and and clicking this uh, icon, which says copy to clipboard. Uh, let's come back over here. Now uh, navigate to the management group and display its details. So instead of, so only difference that I'm going to do, I'm not going to use it for the management group. I'm just going to use it for the subscription level. Okay. Uh, in this one, I'm just going to create this user and it's immediately created the user. Um, so that part is done. So we want to go back to uh, home and subscriptions and I'm going to focus on this subscription and once I'm in there we're going to click the add button uh, by the role assignment and assign the support request contributor custom role to the newly created user account. So I'm here so I got to go to the IAM which I need an access management tab and here you see all these the roles classic administrator deny assignments role assignments you can click role assignments most likely role assignment uh, add followed by the role assignment add followed by role assignment that's not right so you just click on role assignments and uh, no that's not so we created the new user so let's get the new user name go back over here let's find that person what happened did they no I didn't I didn't copy the name properly so we can actually get it right from here okay let's go here let's find that I still don't have a don't have the users Oh, this is role assignment. Uh, I need to find that role most likely here. So let's uh, look for the role, which is support request contributor. So let's look, look for this. Let's see if I have anything. I don't have anything either in here. So this is not the right place to assign the role. Give me one second. Let me think. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back. Okay, I was thinking too much. So just click button is all you need and then click the role assignment button. And from here we can select the role that we have created, which is a custom support contributor. So that's a custom role that we have created. So we can click on that one. And from here, the new user that we have created, that's the user as per the lab, we have to assign the role so let's get the user so now you come over here and search for the user and this is the user you select that one 
and just kind of review so you are assigning this row that we created the uh, custom rbec row you are assigning to this particular user and you just say save and here the role assignment is done uh, let me see if anything else that's needed so now so they are saying open a private window uh, sign into the portal using the newly created user account and update the password so let's do that okay uh, we want to make sure that this role is properly assigned so let's go to portal dot azure dot com and we have already copied the username from here so let's get that one uh, let's put it in here and let's get the default password and let's update it uh, so that's the initial password it should ask me to reset my password so let's do that Alright, it's probably gonna as ask me to verify my account using my phone and email. That's how my account is set up. Uh, it's gonna say more information requests. So I'm gonna pause the video and make sure my access is all done. And I'll be back once I, I have completed these two steps. And if you need to know how to do these steps, just go back to a couple more videos and you'll have it. Hey, welcome back. So what we have done so far, we have created a new user. And now I have done the steps necessary to verify my email address and, and my phone. So now I have logged in as that particular user, AZ10402, as per the lab instruction. Okay, so let's go back to the lab instruction. And uh, this is what we have done. We opened a private browser window and signed in. Uh, in the private window, search and select resource group to verify that that user can see all of the resource groups so let's see if we can see the resource group or not okay so let's go over here um, resource group if you click on that and there we go so this particular user I have access to all of the resource groups so if I click on that one I should be able to see the resources if I if there were any that I should I, I will have access to that one all right, let's look at my resource group. I may have something in here. Not anything. Mm -mm. So I have, it looks like this resource group. They're looking at, they, they can look at all of the resource groups and they can create ticket. And uh, uh, I'm not sure if this role that we created has access to C anything that's inside these resource groups like the cloud cell uh, resource group storage i'm pretty sure that i have a storage account inside this so this role that we have created is a role based access control so this i have access to the resource group but i still do not have access to anything inside this resource group looks like uh, to verify that uh, whether there is some stuff we can go back this is the owner account so I can also do the same thing go to the resource group and uh, maybe look at one of the my resource group I thought we had something in here yeah I do so I have some stuff in here like a VM that I deployed uh, the other custom role that I created for the customer support uh, that under this user I have given this custom role it has given access to the resource group so it can view how many resource group I have or other users they are, they are creating but they still they do not have access to view the resources that are part of this resource group okay but as per the lab I think we have completed the steps that was needed so let's go uh, verify the user and all the resource groups so that we have verified in the in private browser in the Azure portal search the all resources to verify cannot see any resources yeah so that we have already done that so it, it cannot it cannot see any resources it can only see the resource group that we just verified as well 
so we can also do all resources it looks like so all resources you can go there and you should not see anything and that's what we uh, I'm, at, I'm at this user so we gotta go back to the other user view so do all resources and it should be all blank so I do not have any access to any of the individual resources only have access to the resource group so let's go back to the instruction so we have verified that so in the in private browser search and select help plus support and click new support request so this role was created for a support ticket so in here I can go help if I click on this question mark this button is now available to me so I can cl click on the help and support and it should let me create a ticket for it so let's go back so we have done that select the service and subscription limits quotas issue type so let's see new support request and issue type is service and subscription limit quota so that I can select and my subscription is automatically selected so we have done up to this point and then note the presence of the subscription you were using in this lab it's gonna come up if you do not see option sign out so uh, if you do not continue <laughs> do not continue with the support request instead sign out uh, so remember that so we don't really need to create the ticket so for the lab purpose of the lab we have verified uh, we have created a new user in the previous lab we created the custom role in this lab we assign the custom RBAC roles to this particular user and we have verified that we can create the support ticket if we want to uh, that's the end of the lab and there are a couple extra things to clean up the resource that you have created so let's see how to do that as well really quickly uh, always remember to remove any newly created as your resources that you no longer use just to avoid any kind of cost um, from here the first thing they're saying to delete um, that particular user that we have created and this one they're actually uh, using uh, removing the role and uh, remove the as your role definition and then they're saying that you can delete that user and if you want you can also delete the management group uh, So that's pretty much it. So I'm actually going to keep the roles and users that I'm that I have created for this lab. Uh, but I'll just go back over here to show you one more time. We have already done this exercise uh, really, really quickly. So this is that user. So I'm going to just get out of him. And from here, this is still the, my own main user. So if I want to remove my management group, I can just go to the management group and this is the management that I created so from here you can go to details most likely you have a delete button that's pretty common to most Azure blade so you can delete it from here uh, again if you want to delete the user you can go to active directory go to the users blade go to the user blade and then select the particular user that you have created whichever it is and then you just click on the delete button and to remove the role all you need to do is uh, you can use parcel by the way there are multiple ways to do it uh, so you can go in here uh, go to IAM and go to roles and again you can uh, select by the custom roles and that particular role that we have created should come up just give it a second so once I have this role to select the role and again you have the remove button available just click on it and you will remove this role it will remove the role for you okay so that's all for this lab so let me go back and make sure that we have completed everything okay so we have finished all three tasks that we wanted to do in this lab uh, we did this in three different videos and this is part of the AZ 104 Microsoft Azure administrator exam uh, in the first lab we implemented a management group 
Then we created a custom RBAC role and in this lab we use the RBAC role and assign to a particular user. Uh, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Share the video with others. Good luck with the exam. Thank you.